Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today I shall obtain the Fourier series of x minus x square in the interval of uh, minus pi to pi. And we will also uh, show uh, that 1 by 1 square minus 1 by 2 square plus 1 by 3 square minus 1 by 4 square and so on is equal to pi square by 12. So let's see. As we know that uh, fx can be represented as fx equal to a0 by 2 n is equal to 1 to infinity a n cos of n x plus b n sin of n x. So, all last formula, these are all, all last formula, and uh, here fx is equal to x minus x square. So, let's find a0. So, a0 is 1 by pi minus pi to pi uh, fx is x minus x square dx. Yes. So, if we solve this integration, we will get x square by 2 minus x cube by 3 pi minus pi. And uh, this is producing, if we insert the values and calculate then uh, it is producing minus so 2 pi square uh, by 3 yeah so a square is minus 2 pi square by 3 now let's find a n which is 1 by pi minus pi to pi x minus x square cos of n x dx so we know the integration by parts which is like this uh, u v dx minus of u dash v dx and we should remember this protocol yet where l represents log i indices a algebra t trigonometric functions and t exponentials here we have a and t so we will first take out x minus x square out of the integration and we will perform this uh, integration of cos nx which will produce sin of nx by n right then this part should be done and we will get negative sign here from this and first derivative of x minus x square which will produce this one and then integration of uh, cos nx will produce uh, sorry minus of uh, you should write integration sign instead of that curly bracket so sine of nx by n dx so write the limits here which is equal to 1 by pi x minus x square sine of nx by n minus of uh, now let's put this curly bracket again take out this function out of this and sin x by nx by n that integration will produce minus of cos nx by n square and then I am writing again a negative sign that will give you minus 2 derivative of this function uh, 1 minus 2x that will produce minus 2 and um, then the integration of minus cos nx by n square dx which is equal to 1 by pi you have to perform the integration carefully otherwise if we do some mistake here we will be in trouble later so i am writing here 1 minus 2x cos of nx y n square and here i am getting 
this minus minus plus minus minus plus so this is twice of integration of cos nx by n square will produce sine of nx by n cube this is the limit so if we uh, put the limits then we will get this term will produce 0 so 1 by pi this term will give 0 this term so we are writing 0 and this term will also be 0 so we are writing 1 minus 2 pi cos of n pi by n square uh, minus of 1 plus 2 pi cos of minus n pi will also produce cos of n pi by n square so we can write here uh, Mm, minus of 4 pi and cos n pi is equal to minus 1 to the power n we know that okay and sin sin n pi is 0 okay so we are writing this by pi times n square okay so we are getting ultimately this one so we can find the value of a1 as minus 4 and that minus 1 to the power 1 will also give ne negative sign so I am writing this and a2 will be so minus 4 by 2 square likewise a3 will be plus 4 by 3 square and a4 will be minus 4 by 4 square and uh, so on now let's find the value of bn so we have to perform this integration here sin of nx dx integration by parts and let them let protocol has to be remembered so let's do that so first of all i am getting this thing minus sign will be coming from integration of sin nx so i have written that here and uh, then let's put the integration sign and first differentiation of this function and again the integration of sin nx which will produce minus cos nx by n dx equal to 1 by pi minus x y x square cos of nx by n again uh, we have to perform the integration let's put the second bracket here and 1 minus 2x and uh, here again the minus sign will be there so sign of nx by n square that integration is produced in this thing and then again integration and derivative of this will give you um, minus 2 so minus 2 and uh, integration of uh, minus sign nx by n square dx Ultimately, it will uh, it will produce this will cos n x by n q and minus sine uh, three minus sine. So ultimately, we will get minus of cos of n x cos of n x by n q. Now let's put the uh, limits here, and we will get. do it carefully so let's put here minus this will give you minus pi square cos of n pi by n minus of uh, minus pi and minus pi square cos of n minus pi uh, that will give also uh, cos of n pi so cos of n pi because cos minus x is equal to cos x and this term will also blow up I mean uh, will be 0 so write 0 here and uh, this term will also be 0 because you can see if I write this cos n pi by n cube 
minus of that will uh, give a cos of minus n pi which is also cos of n pi so n cube so you can see this will also be a zero so ultimately we can get minus pi of cos of n pi by n and uh, here we will also get minus pi of cos of n pi because this two will produce positive sign and there is one negative sign so we are getting this n pi by n so ultimately we are getting twice of minus 1 to the power n by n so we can find b1 is equal to Mm, 2 by 1 b2 is equal to minus 2 by 2 mm, b3 is equal to 2 by 3 uh, b4 is equal to minus 2 by 4 and so on so we can write x minus x square is equal to a0 by 2 and we found a0 is equal to this one this is the a0 so a0 by 2 will be minus pi square by 3 minus pi square by 3 and uh, plus um, a1 is this one so we can take common 4 and write uh, cos x by 1 square uh, minus cos 2x by 2 square plus cos 3x by 3 square minus cos 4x by 4 square and uh, so on and we also have sine so we can take two common and we can write uh, sine x by 1 minus sine 2x by 2 and sine 3x by 3 and um, sine 4x by 4 and so on so we have found this uh, expression now let's let's uh, say x equal to 0 then 0 will be equal to minus pi square by 3 plus 4 cos 1 uh, cos 0 will produce 1 these terms will produce 1 every cos so we can write 1 by 3 square minus 1 by 4 square and however this sign this sign terms will produce 0 so we write 0 here that says pi square by 2x is equal to 1 by 1 square minus 1 by 2 square plus 1 by 3 square minus 1 by 4 square and so on so we have finally proved that also so hope you have understood the problem i have uh, found that we had uh, read uh, for this x minus x square and from this expression I also have proved this one. So thanks for watching my video. Hope you have enjoyed and you have learned something. Please, please uh, stay connected with my channel and consider subscribing. Thanks a lot.